Hello everyone. A lot of parents come to my website asking questions like, how can I be a good parent? Who is an ideal parent? And no wonder this is one of the most searched questions regarding parenting on Google. So let's first look at how we parent and I will add links at the bottom so that you can go check out why we can't be an ideal parent most of the times. Okay, so how are we parenting right now in the digital age? The first thing is we are perennially distracted. We parent our children as if we are going to be living forever. The second thing is we have a lot of indecisions and a lot of emotional baggage that we carry around. You know, we open all these drawers throughout the day, not closing them back up. So we are constantly, you know, juggling a few things here and there while we are also engaging and trying to stay involved in their lives. The next thing is we also insert all these negative thoughts into them whenever we see that they are about to commit a mistake. The point is, unless and until the stakes are very high, we should allow them to fail. We must parent in a way that they have the self-resilience to pick themselves back up. Because obviously we are going to be there in case something big happens, right? We are here monitoring the situation. So fail them as parents as often as you can. We all want to stay engaged and involved in our child's life, but the thing that prevents us from becoming the ideal parent slash friend for them is, you know, we have all these nagging doubts and worries that hold us back. We are worried that they might not live up to their full potential. Uh, we are actually worried that they might not live a healthy, full life. Of course, that is a real worry that keeps us up all night. You know, their well-being is obviously the number one concern for any parent. Um, we are worried that they might not end up being happy in life. We also worry that they might suffer a health crisis in their life. All these nagging fears and worries keep us up at night. But we have to think about are these real or unfounded? We are doing everything in our capacity to ensure their well-being. So why should we insert these thoughts into ourselves and into their little heads? The next thing is, because of all these fears and anxieties within us, we harbor all these negative emotions in us. We are like, uh, we do so much for our kids. They're not grateful. Uh, I can't keep up with everything that they're demanding. Uh, what will happen after all, these, all this money that I've spent on them? Uh, will they go to a good college? Sometimes their behaviors confuse us. And as a result, we get frustrated and we feel powerless. But every good parent knows that they're trying their best and they're trying their best with whatever circumstances are around them. We must not feel powerless because only if we lead ourselves, we can be great parent leaders. Good luck.